The two most obvious places where uh, Ozone implements AI, artificial intelligence, are the impact module and the stabilizer, which is a dynamic EQ, and impact is a dynamics uh, module that can do either expansion or compression. And like I mentioned in the intro, what Isotope set out to do was create modules that allow the user to get to a certain end result without necessarily knowing how to operate the modules or the, the, the processors that you need to get to that result. So in other words, these modules are shortcuts to a lot of processing under the hood that you can get to with only a couple of parameters. You see, usually it takes mixing engineers or producers uh, a couple of years to really fully grasp uh, things like threshold, ratio, attack, release, knee, all those parameters on compressors before they can actually operate those machines to get to a certain end result they have in their heads. And Isotope created the impact module for ozone uh, to get to those results faster with only a couple parameters. Like in this case, impact has four sliders, which are actually all the exact same ones. Uh, they all operate either expansion up or compression down. And you can do this over multiple bands. There's an auto gain so this will uh, compensate the level that uh, you lose if you compress or uh, that you gain if you expand. There's uh, a way to link all the bands together. So if at all you want to use multiple bands for your compression, you can link them all together and uh, operate them with only one fader. There's a delta knob. This um, allows you to listen to what the difference is between the before and the after and that can teach you what to really listen for in a compressor. And there's a sync button that, uh, if I turn that on, the envelope, which uh, controls the release of the compression, is then synced to the tempo of the project, and I can set this in rhythmic values. So that is really clever. Let's go ahead and just fire a bit of audio through the impact module and play around with, uh, well, let's first start with one slider and see what it actually is doing. can really hear the the, the beats uh, glue together a bit more if I if I bring down the slider so I'm actually compressing the audio if I bring up the fader so I'm expanding the audio it actually brings up the level at a certain tempo and that really opens up the audio so instead of making it compact using compression it now makes it sound more open and less controlled go back to compression So that's really interesting, only using one fader to, uh, to get to that result. What if I add a couple bands here? That can be interesting. If you don't know where to put the bands, that can also be determined by the impact just by uh, hitting the learn button and let the impact decide where the crossovers need to be. bit undecisive yet, but <laughs> there it is. Uh, these are the four bands that each have their own slider. Let's say if I want to compress the high mid frequencies a bit and expand the low frequencies a bit, I can bring this one up, bring this one down, and that should pretty much do it. Let's have a listen. Solo each band. And I can even scale the amount of uh, processing of all the sliders in one go. Let's have a listen to the difference between before and after.
So this is actually what the uh, impact is doing. And let's have a look at the sync button. It's now set to 1 16th. I'm gonna set that to 1 8th. Let's flip the faders. Or just uh, operate them all in one go. So that is the impact module.